joined now by Minnesota quarterback Marquise Gray. You've waited a long time for this opportunity. What does it feel like to come into a fall camp as the number one guy? Uh, it feels great to know that the coach believes in me to be that number one guy and lead this team this year, and I'm looking forward to it. What's been the toughest thing about going wide receiver, quarterback, wide receiver, and back? Uh, just knowing everything, but that's the job of a quarterback. Now that I'm a full quarterback, I have to know everyone's position. So I'm just looking forward to it, and I'm going to have fun with it. Well, I think you really should be commended, really, since you've gotten here. You've kind of been in tough positions. You've been moved around, but you've never really complained about it. How is that really going to help you mature as you go this year being a starting quarterback with your teammates looking for your leadership? Uh, that's one thing I've been working on this offseason is my leadership ability because, you know, being a receiver, you're not that guy to, to pump up the offense and be the guy to talk to in the huddle. I want to be the guy that, that leads this team to USC. Without a doubt, having my teammates believe in me, uh, the coaching staff believe in me, the, sta the state of Minnesota believe in me. I, like I said, I, do, I just want to be a positive role model as I can for this team and help this team win. Interested in what you've seen from the wide receivers, like we all know about Dejan. Once you get past him, though, who stood out? Uh, Victor Keys has been a lot, been doing a lot this this off season. Uh, started with um, far, far workouts uh, in the summer, and now that he's been making tremendous catches, he's been opening up eyes uh, as far as co coaches and other players, and he's just doing an outstanding job for us. All right, Marquise, best of luck to you this year. Thanks for taking a few minutes to talk to us. Thank you.